Black Adam came out a week and a bit ago, and it did reasonably well, not, not brilliantly, but then again, it's not the best movie ever. What it is, is an example of an attempt to entertain rather than educate the fans, which we as fans must support and appreciate. Simply, someone making a movie that's designed to entertain us <laughs> is such a rare thing these days that I have supported this film, thrown my lot behind it, just to say, go see it, show them that. If they entertain us, if they don't patronize us, they don't insult us, they don't call us cysts and phobes and blah, 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 then they will make money. And conveniently, they have. Not enough money yet, but I would say enough to show Hollywood that it exists. Hello, welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name is Will, see what I did there. We're going to have a look at some numbers today. We're going to have a look at this uh, Box Office Mojo article concerning the performance of Black Adam. It's dropped in its second weekend. Of course, every film does. There's no way you are getting the same numbers twice unless you're the biggest film of a generation. 59% drop, however, is not a bad number at all. It's a lot better than a lot of Marvel stuff has been doing lately. We've seen 65, 70% drops. Look at what Lightyear got. It was a total bomb. Now, Black Adam didn't make an enormous amount of money in its first weekend. So a 59% drop still represents, you know, quite a significant decrease in the amount of money earned. It's not exactly a multi-view movie. It's a popcorn flick. And a fun one at that. So if you haven't seen it yet, go see it. You've got a couple of hours to kill. It's fun. It retained its stop spot, of course. Made $28 million, which is a lot better than anything else did. Halloween's always a pretty quiet weekend at the movies for some reason. I think a lot of people just stay home and rent. Well, they, they used to anyway, back when that was a thing. And as I used to work in Blockbuster, I remember Halloween weekend being a pain in the ass to work. <laughs> you ran out of horror movies almost immediately. Anyway... That's really beside the point. Let's read a bit of the article. After $114 million overall box office last weekend, the first since July to hit nine digits, it was a disastrous September, the numbers plunged back down again to a weak 65.8 million pre-Halloween weekend. The weekends leading up to or including October 31st are often among the year's lowest grossing, so this isn't such a buzzkill, but it's still far below the pre-pandemic norms. Well, of course. A lot of people out there are still wearing those masks. They're still scared of human interaction, the broken society, and one that kind of needs rehabbing back to how it used to be. Because there sure as sell ain't anything to fear now. With no late October weekend grossing this little since the 1990s. Next weekend looks to be even worse, and though Black Panther Wakanda Forever will bring the numbers back up the following weekend and possibly give us just the year's fourth $200 million uh, weekend total box office, not from what I've seen of it. The current state of the yo-yoing box office is still far from ideal. Well, of course it is. So let's have a look here then. We have got uh, the weekend domestic chart for October 28th. We can see Black Adam still in first place, firmly ahead of anything else, even close. $27.5 million domestic coming in there. A 59% drop, not a bad shout really. Not bad at all. Over three times, or well, over double, let's just say, as much as any other made per theatre. Next closest was Ticket to Paradise, which is that is that the George Clooney and Julia Roberts thing? Is that the one? There's a lot of rom-coms came out. Um, Nine million there, almost ten. Not bad. No cigar. Pray for the Devil. Seven million. Smile, five. Halloween ends. Doing abysmally. But then no one is interested in that anymore. It's been ruined over the last couple of movies. So, uh, yeah, what else was here? We've got The Woman King still there. Still not making enough to actually matter. Don't worry, darling. Pathetic. Yeah, it's it's not looking good. So Black Adam, though, did pull in $27.5 million for a total domestic gross of $110 million, almost $111 million. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not great. Certainly below expectations. But if you have a look here at the worldwide box office domestic, you can see $250 million, which is uh, a worldwide, sorry, box office 
And that is actually more than enough to have made back its production budget, which uh, apparently was around 200 million. Too much, yes, but at least they made it back. However, of course, you still always have to remember distribution, marketing, those kinds of things, which immediately double the budget. So we're still, well, 250 million off. Well, no, 150 million, I'd say, off breaking even. Perhaps it can do it. Perhaps. But uh, it's going to take three weeks minimum to even come close. If it comes close. Word of mouth will carry this movie. Interestingly, if you look at the arc here, you'll see it went down way below expectations, but actually pulled it back together to hit the bottom of the expected zone again. So it's kind of hard to call right now. Various things are associated with the movie. Of course, you have Henry Cavill coming back as Superman, which has done an enormous favor to the film. But, um, you know, what will we get next? Is this the start of a new DC? This is what the uh, talking point has really been. Are we turning things around? We've had Zaslav totally crushing the hopes of the woke with their terrible diversity movies and bringing back Henry Cavill to be Superman officially for the DCU. So, what does that mean? Well, it looks like Hiram Garcia has been talking a little bit about expanding Superman's role in the universe with Black Adam. The action-packed Black Adam superhero film starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson as the titular character soared to number one in its opening weekend and currently remains in the lead at the box office. This is Forbes, by the way. But bringing the DC character to the big screen was no easy feat. Yes, it did take absolutely years. Um, they asked him about his uh, histories with the character. He said, as kind of a comic book nerd growing up, a fan of movies, you dream of the opportunity to tell a superhero story or an anti-hero story. In our case, you dream of it. And once we got into the film business, working with Dwayne, who's a brother to me, and obviously with Danny, we always knew that Dwayne is a walking superhero. I mean, well, he's The Rock, isn't he? But he, even The Rock was not really a hero, not a, you know, Boy Scout babyface, a badass. It took 15 years to get this movie made. And six of them was just arguing with Warner about trying to get Henry Cavill to appear. When you really visualize for 15 years, always returning to one idea and trying to push it a little further, working to make it happen, and what we can do to set ourselves up to win, using all the experiences we've had from our other projects to apply it towards Black Adam, how can we make a film in a way that hadn't been done before? Well, you didn't. You made a pretty generic superhero movie about a guy who goes around killing people it's uh, interesting, though, because, of course, you've got the Henry Cavill Superman cameo, and that is now being continued in the DCU, which is very important to us. In establishing Black Adam, we viewed as if we were going to introduce the most powerful force on the planet. We feel like you can't properly set that up without making sure that the most powerful force in the universe in Superman is present. Absolutely. So what does that mean next? What will happen? It's very difficult to say, and they obviously can't really talk about what is going to happen next for Superman. But... It's interesting to see. Henry Cavill, of course, having quit The Witcher after having said he was going to stay for seven seasons. That's coming up next in my uh, next video, so watch out for that one. In the meantime, let me know what you think about this. Um, are you interested in going to see Black Adam? Have you seen Black Adam? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Personally, I thought it was solid, but not brilliant. Anyway, let me know. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel as well. Helps me out as I continue to try to help you out. Anyway, till next time, see you later.